Hello everyone, my name is Helen and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am so glad you're here. My channel is all about scrapbooking, card making, and paper crafting. So today I have for you a 20 cards, one 6x6 six six paper um, process video. And I'll be using Cardabella's Halloween Market um, paper pad. And I also brought in a few items such as this Pink Fresh Studio Jewels and I'll be using the brown um, jewels here throughout my project. I also brought in a Greeting Farm stamp set because I wanted to use the um, the sentiments on there as well as a, um, a couple Stampin' Up! dies which is this square and scallop dies and my favorite circle and scallop dies. I also brought in some, a couple Stampin' Up! ink pads which I felt would um, match the set, some Stampin' Up! cardstock like Pumpkin Pie, Basic Black, and Cajun Craze. And I'm trying to think what else I brought in. If I missed anything, I'll make sure to link everything down below that I've used in this um process video. Also I used that super cute ribbon that's also from Stampin' Up! Now I have a draw drawer full of ribbon that I need to use up. So I haven't bought any ribbon. I just want to at least use up half of the ribbon because it's a lot and I want to free up some space in my um, storage. I also wanted to mention, which I forgot earlier, that I did make 20 cards out of this whole entire 6x6 paper pad, except I made um, two of each design, but I'll only be showing you um, how I made one, if that makes any sense. So, sorry, we missed card one, but now we're going to go on to card two. And um, this um, design here, this sketch, was is my favorite um, sketch that I like to do because I just like the contrast between like a striped pattern and then another pattern in front of it. I just think it's just a well-rounded card design look. So you'll notice in a lot of my 10 cards or 20 cards or 5 cards, I, I will more than likely do this type of design because I understand it's the same sketch, but when you use different patterns, it always looks so different. And so it is one of my go-to sketches slash designs. Now the cardstock you see me using here is um, called Cajun Craze from Stampin' Up. Now a lot of the cardstocks that I do use come from Stampin' Up um, only because I like how they're ink pads and their paper match and um, it just makes crafting easier for me so then I don't have to worry about well what matches with this ink pad what matches with that paper so all I have to do is pull out you know the ink pad and the paper I need and I there's no thinking behind it so that's why also you will see me in a lot of my videos using cardstocks from Stampin Up and ink pads as well and also, I didn't mention it earlier on my, um, in the list, in the beginning of the video, that I did use a 12 by 12 sticker sheet that matches this, um, this um, paper pad. And you'll notice some of the stickers, they're similar but not the same. So I had to be really creative with how I use the stickers in this and I popped them up with some dimensionals and I decorated it with the pink fresh jewels the brown ones and that completes that card now we're moving on to card four now I understand that not a lot of people make um, Halloween cards but I'm very biased to Halloween and the month of October because my um, oldest daughter is um, her birthday is in October so I've always loved decorating for Halloween and I've always just been, I just love fall and when Halloween comes around, it's like, I love decorating for Halloween. I love, I've, I just, I don't know, like, I guess before I created cards, like, you know, you can't really scrapbook much of Halloween because it only comes once a year, but when you're a card maker, it's like, 
you can craft the whole month of October and September and make Halloween cards. And, you know, yes, I am a hoarder of cards, but now that I've discovered places where I can donate my cards to, um, I don't feel as bad as a as bad hoarding my cards because I know it's going to a good place and I try to be mindful of the stuff that I choose to put on the cards because you know I do that um, donate to um, soldiers overseas and one of the rules is don't use glitter um, but you have free reign on whatever however you want to decorate it so they just ask that you don't use glitter now this one unfortunately has a glitter ribbon so I will more than likely probably donate this to another um, place where it's okay to use this and there's a lot of places like scrapbook.com is um, actually taking in donations for cards so I just do my little research on Google and try to find a place where I can donate it. I also want to give you guys a heads up that towards the end of this month, well, all this month and the month of October and November, well, the rest of the year, I will probably be making more card videos because something about fall and winter um, just makes me want to make cards. I just love making cards <laughs> around this time of year, so you'll notice that um, I will be making more of those types of videos and also I want to use up a lot of the haul that a lot of the 6x6 paper patterns that I bought from my last mega haul um, and so yeah and also the cards for soldiers where I donate Christmas cards um, I want to pledge like 300 cards to them so you'll be seeing some of my process from that so that I can get started on it early so that I don't stress about it later on that, you know, I didn't get anything done. So, yeah. Okay. Now, sorry. I bet I go off subject a lot. But um, this card right here is actually some of the scraps from the top of the card. And you see the holes there. But I didn't really want to throw it away because it's such a, it's like a big pattern that, you know, I could just cover up the holes, so I decided to make my own little pattern paper here. And um, you'll see me put a 3 by 4 um, card um, paper pattern, and then I matted it with a black cardstock. And I'm just going to cover the imperfections with that um, pattern paper. And I thought it came out really good. It looked... Something about crafting with scraps is so satisfying that I actually like it more than just using a whole piece of pattern paper I don't know maybe because um I don't know I just I just like it I mean what do you guys think do you do you feel really satisfied when you've um used up your scraps um I can't tell you how much scraps I have. Um, it's really excessive, but I do try my best to uh, make use of it and not throw it away. Um, so I do try to keep it with the collection itself so that um, when I do feel like just using up scraps and making cards that are, um, you know, just whatever strikes my mood, then I'll, I'll go to that pile. But yeah. Okay, now we're we're already on card nine, my goodness. Um, now, this paper pattern is, I'm not going to say it's scary, but it's, it's cute and a little creepy at the same time. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it because um, there's like creepy ghosts that look creepy in there. And some people might mind, you know, scary images. Um... But I honestly don't mind it at all. Like anything Halloween paper pad, um, I like. Like there's nothing scary or cute or anything that will deter me from purchasing any type of Halloween paper. As long as I like it, I'll get it. 
<laughs> so here I am again I'm using the um, jewels from the pink fresh studio and I really love this set of jewels um, I got it from Joann's it was like originally $30 and then you know how those types of stores usually have like 50 or 60 percent off coupon well I used one of those coupons so I got it for over half off and then you get like 20 percent off your entire purchase type thing so it's like I I think I got a really good deal on it um, because one package of those jewels can cost you like almost four dollars and one thing I do want or I hope that Pink Fresh comes out with are like pearls that are flat back that are like that um, because sometimes I like to decorate with pearls but in different colors so yeah all right now we're on card nine Ooh, I think last card I said card nine but we're on card nine now and this one here is I try to get creative with a lot of my scraps now because I'm literally just running out of pattern paper and so what I did is I just created this little pattern and then I centered my ribbon on there and a cat and some more stickers from the sticker sheet and then a ribbon um, I really like how this turned out um, and also like I mentioned before I'm gonna try to use ribbon on my videos now as, as well as long as it matches the paper because I am on a mission to at least use up a third of the ribbon I have in my drawer and I will insert a picture here right now so you can see yes that's how much ribbon I have in my drawer and think of all the stuff I can put in there after I've managed to use that up right <laughs> do you guys like using ribbons in your cards like for me like I do like using ribbons in my cards because it just makes it feel like um, there's a lot of elements in there like you know you use the ribbon you use stickers and pattern paper and cardstock that it just feels complete like it completes me if that makes any sense so that's why I do like using ribbon but you know the ribbon must match the patterns I mean the pattern paper if that makes any sense so guys that completes this whole process video I hope you enjoyed it and please don't forget to tell me or let me know which one was your favorite and I love 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 reading your comments because it just it makes me happy knowing that you watch my videos so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on my next video have a wonderful day bye